Hi, this is Kai Horstman, the author of Scala for the Impatient. And I'd like to talk a little bit how to get started with Scala in a Java EE environment. Um, that's one of the most enjoyable ways of getting into Scala because you get immediate uh, payoff. As you know, in Java EE, there's all this boilerplate, uh, uh, particularly when you have a, uh, a, a JPA class, you have to write all the getters and setters. And you end up having a lot of code staring at you that's not really useful. In Scala, all of that goes away. It's just magnificent to see how much shorter the amount of code is that you write. And it's easy enough to do. All you have to do is add the Scala jar to your project. So if you write applications that, that use JPA and JSF, I really encourage you to uh, just replace your boilerplate with Scala. Uh, another great way of getting into Scala is if you need to write concurrent applications. Uh, in the traditional Java way, you know how dangerous it, it is. You have mutable state that gets changed by multiple threads, and you have to worry about locking. Um, Scala encourages a better approach where you, instead of thinking about mutation, you think about transformations. You think about what your code takes as input and what it should uh, return as output in a separate data structure. You can then use Scala actors to distribute the work over multiple actors that, uh, instead of mutating common state, communicate by passing results from one to the other. And you'll find that Scala really encourages uh, this much more functional way of writing uh, concurrent distributed code that really makes it easier for you to uh, write code that works correctly. Another great reason for using Scala is if you ever feel the need to write your own mini programming language, a domain-specific language. There are many people who do this, and then they make the mistake of, of writing a whole language from scratch. Scala encourages a better approach where you put the domain-specific operators and verbs inside Scala, and then you uh, simply use the control structures and the object model that Scala already has. That way you don't reinvent the wheel, and users of the, your language can uh, use a well-designed and powerful language instead of uh, some little toy. So anytime that you feel that you want to write a domain-specific language, you know, think about embedding it inside Scala. Hi, this is Kai Horstman, the author of Scala for the Impatient. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, learning a little bit about Scala and about the book. Uh, you can get a, a free PDF of the introductory chapters at typesafe.com. And of course, the book is available on Safari as well as in hardcover. So I hope that you will find it enjoyable and that uh, you'll have great success learning Scala.